We're actually wrapping up pretty much every single video I'm going to make about scout weapons. That's, that's kind of nuts. So, now that we're close to the end of the Scouts Pouch series, I thought it was a good idea to go through all of the melee weapons and talk about my opinions on every single one. Now, I've done this with the primary weapons and the secondary weapons, so we're just wrapping up this whole series with the Scout weapons, which is quite nice. I will probably be doing this with the Soldier weapons too when we get to the end of the primary weapons and Soldier Stash, so keep an eye out for that. Okay, so jumping straight into it, let's talk about the bat. And I mean, it's okay, I guess. There's really not a whole lot to this weapon at all. It does slightly meh damage, but it swings quite fast. So, yeah, I, I don't really know. It's a stock weapon. It's going to be decent, but not always that interesting. Now, I'm not really including reskins in this video, but I'm talking about the fish here because it is a melee weapon I actually use. Even though it is the default bat, I always get a weird feeling that the fish crits just a little bit more and feels a little bit more powerful than the bat. Like, you, it feels like you do more damage with it, even though you probably don't. It might just be the sound that the bat makes when you hit someone that tricks my mind, but I enjoy using the fish quite a lot. Next up we have the Sandman and this used to be one of the most fun weapons to use in TF2. Legitimately I used to have so much fun using this weapon and it actually took skill to use in some cases anyway. Then they changed it and now it's still like an okay-ish melee weapon but it's nowhere near what it used to be in terms of fun levels and in terms of how strong it is. The ball still does decent damage but I miss being able to stun people. I miss the flying guillotine combo man, I really do. Next up we have the candy cane and I'm personally really not a fan of this one. It's not the worst thing in the world, don't get me wrong. It's just the extra explosive damage finishes me off and I play scared when I have this thing equipped because I feel like any scout is just going to get destroyed by someone just by looking at him. No matter how well I'm playing, I feel like the candy cane, as soon as I run into a soldier, that life is over. Like, I will die straight away just by seeing the soldier. But I just remember when I made the scouts pouch video on it, I didn't really have a whole lot of fun while using it. Like most of these other weapons, I had like some level of fun. This one, I really didn't. I mean, the health on kill is good, but not if you're being destroyed by a close range rocket and you die in one hit. It literally doesn't do anything. Now, next up, we have the Boston Basher, and I actually quite like this weapon. Even though when I do have it equipped, I don't actually use it a massive amount, it's saved me in a load of situations where I was able to get a hit on an enemy, run away, and then they die of bleeding, which always feels quite good. I also like using the Three Room Blade, which is just a reskin of this weapon. They're both really cool looking items, and they're decent as well. Like, I enjoy using them. They are very useful. You can use them for building Uber with your medics, yeah, they're just a great all-round weapon to use. It's almost like the competitive bridge weapon sort of thing. Like, you're trying to take the game sort of seriously, you'll use the Boston Basher instead of the fish, because then you can build Ubers and stuff, and that's like a more competitive thing than casual. So, yeah, you, it's like a bridge weapon, sort of. Next up, we have the Sun on a Stick, and I didn't have a whole lot of fun using this weapon. I have to be honest. The fire resistance was decent, to be honest, and it did save me a couple of times when I was trying to use it, and I don't think it's as bad as I thought it was initially. I still don't really like using it, but I see now it has some situations that it can be quite helpful and actually save you a fair amount. And the full crit on burning enemies is also decent if you have a good pyro on your team to work with. Other than that, I don't really like having this weapon equipped at all. I still don't think I'm over the fact that when I first equipped it, it looked so cool and I thought it was going to be such a good weapon. Then it sucked and my heart broke. Okay, I probably won't go that far with it, but yeah, it was a bit disappointing. It was underwhelming. It's an underwhelming weapon completely. Next up, we have the Fan of War, and I actually thought this would be the one on the thumbnail under the bad side. Like, I really did, but after using it, I really can't say I hate it. It's actually really not that bad at all. Marking people for death is ridiculously helpful and it makes you a bit more of a team player too. Even if you don't tell people you're marking people, a lot of players will aim at the dude with the skull over his head instead of aiming at anybody else because they want that kill. And if they're marked for death, most players know what that means, so they will shoot at it. And if they don't know what it means, they might see the skull on their head and think, yeah, that means something, I'll aim at it. And honestly, if you're using it properly, it is quite decent to help you get some easier kills. So I definitely recommend trying this one out. I, I, ha I have to say it, I definitely recommend trying it out. Don't ever use it to try and get kills though. People have done it, don't get me wrong, people can get kills with it. It's just not what it's exactly meant for. But yeah, people have some high kill strange fan of wars for some reason uh, yeah 
Okay, so next up we have the Atomizer, and I have to say, I actually quite like this weapon. It's fairly useful, but I feel like most of these melee weapons are more like tools than actual weapons you should be using to fight people with. At least for the scout, melee weapons seem to be more like utility based than actually dealing damage, getting kills with. Now that will obviously change when we get to Demo Man. Definitely change when we get to Demo Man, but for the scout, a lot of it is utility stuff. I don't want to talk too much about the atomizer here because there's a scouts fight video literally coming out for this one i think tomorrow so yeah all you need to know really is that the triple jump can be useful and this weapon is fairly decent and finally we have the rap assassin now i like this weapon i really really do i just quite like the fact that the ball shatters and it hits a small area with some damage if you miss it makes you feel a little bit better about missing a shot with this thing and you're not like you've wasted it completely which is nice the bleed damage is also quite good once you do hit someone and it's really fun to use with the flying guillotine. Again, the scouts patch video for this one isn't out yet, but we'll be releasing soon. So that is the finale and it's going to be a good one. And I mean, there we have it. My opinion on all of the scout melee weapons. Now, I want to do a big tier list with all of the scout weapons all put together at some point. So I have like an official list of which ones I like the most and which weapons I really don't like. So... I'll have to see when that one comes out. I have no idea. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you leave the video a like. And also make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. There is a tiny, tiny chance that I'll be able to hit 90,000 subscribers this month, which is kind of nuts. So if you want to help me out, then make sure you subscribe. Obviously, if you didn't enjoy the video, you probably won't do that. Also, make sure you join all of the patrons who are currently on the screen right now. They're helping me out massively doing this whole YouTube and Twitch thing full time. So if you want to help support me, do that and you enjoy the content you're watching, maybe consider going over there and looking. Obviously, you don't have to. I don't want anyone to feel pressured into giving me anything because that's not why I do this. But if you want to, the Patreon is there. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching the video once again. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you all tomorrow with another video. Goodbye.